Hello everyone, my name is Mario for Cost Spirit and welcome to the channel. So basically today it's going to be another video of this apple orchard that I went to last year. So I figured I'd redo, I'd redo another video on it, I'd make another video, another tour of it. Um, it's just to show you how much I enjoyed the experience from last year, so figure I'd do it again. Maybe you guys would enjoy it. So basically, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go on a Wednesday because there have been less people. There have been easier to film, but um, they were closed on Wednesdays, so I could not go on Wednesdays, so I had to go on a Saturday, which I knew there have been a lot more people. And you know when you have a lot, of, there's a lot of children there. So when you have a lot of children around, mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of putting them on camera. Mm -hmm. So it kind of limit, it li limited me on what I can film. But that's okay. It's just, it still worked out pretty good. I, I just made sure no kids were around when I filmed stuff. And um, the only thing you couldn't see is where they were cooking the corn and selling the apple cider and all that. So there's an area there that where they do that if you look at my last year's video you'll see that part there but over here there was too much children running around so i didn't bother filming that but yeah it was pretty cool it was kind of nice because it was like i think it was like 11 o'clock in the morning or 10 30 or something like that and i see, I see this the, 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 these little boys eat, eating corn right like <laughs> who eats corn at 10 30 in the morning but these kids didn't care right they're like loving their corn so it's just the innocence, it's a, it's a, it's a nice experience. And what, what was nice is actually had a lot, of, a lot of families there and all that, so which was a nice experience as well to, to be a part of that. Um, yeah, so we just saw, saw the, 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 the ponies and the horse and all that. Now you got the chickens. So yeah, so, so it was a nice day too. Um, like I, I walked in there with, with my sweater. About you know, in 25 minutes, half half an hour in, I had to tie my my sweater around my waist because it was, it was getting pretty warm. So it was a good day for it. Nice and sunny, as you can see. Chickens are doing pr pretty good. The only thing I like about this place is it's a, it's a real nice view, and, and to me it's kind of it's kind of interesting because it's like five minutes away from me. It's like almost like right in my backyard, but you, I go there and it's like a whole a whole new world, right, with all these valleys and all that. So I thought I thought that was pretty interesting. That's what I kind of like what I like about it. And if you notice, and if you notice, I'm breathing a little heavy. But if you saw my last year last year's video. I was I was breathing a lot heavier then than I am this year, which I thought was pretty cool, considering that I weigh more this year than I did last year. So, so basically, the logic behind that is that a lot of my old injuries I've been fixing, so I'm not wrestling against my my, my injuries anymore because a lot of them are, are have disappeared. So. My body's moving a lot freer, so it's a lot less tiresome to move my frame around, right? So, but yeah, one thing I've always said in my other my other YouTube channels: heal your injuries, it makes your life a lot better. And I show, what I'm showing there is like I to me, I just I think it's incredible. You got all those apples sitting on the ground. It's like just perplexes me because like when I used to, when I was a teenager I used to work on a farm and for the peaches we used to thin out the peaches because if they got too big they would break the, the branches would break so let's say you had a branch that you had like let's say like like they like, say 10 peaches on it well you would th th thin them out to, to maybe about you could leave about maybe like let's say six or five or some of that right just so when they got bigger they didn't snap the branches but these ones here it looks like these are like they're breaking the branches, but they're just falling on the ground. So I guess it's different. Come like dealing with apples. I never worked on an apple farm when I was a kid, 
It was more like strawberries, cherries, peaches, pears, stuff like that. I never worked on an apple farm. So. But yeah, as you can see, the, the scenery is it's a beautiful scenery. And I, like, I, re I recommend that for anybody, right? Like, I, I, I'm single, so I still went. I still in enjoyed myself. If I had a family, then obviously it'd be, it'd be a, a little more, more fun, right? Because you have your kids and all that. But, uh, you know what I mean? I'd still be able to enjoy myself, the fact I'm single. And if you're a family, then, then, you, then you, you obviously still, you obviously will enjoy yourself as well. The kids will love it, and I'm guessing you'll enjoy it as well, right? But... It's incredible. And look at all, all, all these apples. So obviously they, they, they don't thin them out. They're like all bunched up. You know, and for, for me it's also a, a great feeling to be able to go and, and pick the, these apples. Like, you know, like you, you like in normal times you just go to the store and you buy stuff, right? But when you can go and, and harvest it yourself, right, pick it. Whatever, like if you have a garden, you know what I'm talking about. It's a great feeling just to walk in, like especially if you have a garden. You just walk in and you pick it, eat it. Doesn't cost you anything, right? Mind you, you have to, you have to plant the seeds, all that. So that costs a little bit, but whatever. Like once all that's done, if you're hungry, you go get something to eat, right? So I like that kind of that aspect of it. And this here is just not, not nice to get in there and, and, and pick the, these apples. Helps you, helps you be a little more grounded to, to Mother Earth, right? And you know, the more involved you are with your food, the healthier it is for you, anyways. Because your food is who you are, anyways. I said that part I, I like when that when, when the whole like the, the, the little branch comes off with it. I think it's really cool. Cool look. So you got all these apples still sitting in the branches. And you got all the ones that, 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 that fell on the ground. Like, to me, that's just amazing. Actually, what I, what I did with with um, the one apple that I bought, well, with the apples that I bought with one of them, I cut it up and I put it in a steak stir fry. So the, the stir fry itself, like I bought it all already pre-made, like the steak and vegetables in it and the sauce and all that from this butcher that I go to. It's kind of a sweet, taste, it's a sweet sauce to have with it. So it kind of worked good. Like I cut up that apple and then I put it in the stir fry as well. So actually, I, I, did, I, did, I didn't mind the 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 the. the, 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 the the taste of it. I got that from a bodybuilder that I watched. He put that in, in, in his stir fry, so we're gonna give it a shot. So here, here's your smaller trees, so. Obviously, they're keeping up with it. So I guess, I guess, once they get too old or they're not producing any apples, they take them out and they plant some new ones in. So this is the corn maze. It's the outside of it. I didn't go inside, but. If I had kids, I would have, but I don't have any children, so I didn't see any point in going inside.
Yeah, so over here, the, 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 there's a trail. I'm not too sure how long it is. It's, it's pretty good length because I think I walked like five minutes and, and there was still a ways to go. So I was like, I, I was like, well, I just wanted to put stuff on video for you guys to see it. Well, it was a fighting walk and roll trail. But like if you went there with your family, you know, you bring your kids up there, once they, 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 they do the trail, they're probably ready to go home and go to bed. So. They, they do a pretty good job, right? They hang up these little gnomes here and there, so they, I think they, it makes it quite, quite interesting. And you got that stream there. It's possible that that stream is the same stream I have, have that come, that's behind my, my house. So... That's how close. That's how close to this place is. <laughs> yeah. So, if any any of you guys are not from around here, the the. This orchard is called Apple Orchard Inc. It's in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. When I say Hamilton, it's not really in Hamilton. It's, it's just, it's, it just, it's just the ad. That's just what they call it because they, they took Hamilton and they added all these other towns around it and made them all Hamilton. Which we're not really Hamilton, but we're called Hamilton. So, but if you wanted to look it up on on the internet, that's what you would do. You would say you would go put in Apple Orchard Inc. Um, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, Highway 6. So that's where it's on. It's on Highway 6, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. And it, it should come up if you, if you put all, all that in there. And it gives you like all kinds of pricing. Like if, you, if you're into commercial filming or com commercial pictures, like professional photography, um, then you know there's a certain price you can pay to, to, to do your, your professional shots in there and all that. Um, I always thought that, like, for me, I, I'd, I'd like to do, the, like, my Halloween videos in there. Like, I'd like to make a script and do that, but the problem is that they don't... All that doesn't really happen to, like, up, October. Yeah, to, to, like, to, like, October, or actually probably mid-September. But with me, like, I, I start filming my Halloween video where I act in it. I start filming that, like, in the beginning of, of July. So I usually like having it all done by the end of August, and then actually in July, August. So, no, actually, yeah, I, th I think by by the end of August I like to have it done, or a little bit into September, and then I start filming my my my, my, my Christmas stuff. But I'm also putting, and that's like for Christmas and for Halloween. But I'm also doing my weekly stuff as well. So so I need I need those few months ahead to, to get it all done. Like something like this, if I was to film there, we'd have to have like a whole crew with me and get it all done in, in a few days in order to be able to get it out for October 1st, right? So I'd like to get my Halloween videos out October 1st. So for something like that, it would have to be like really organized and a lot more people than me. And right now, it's just me filming my, myself and I I do every character in my, my, my videos. So it takes a little bit of time. This here, I, I actually bought a pumpkin from there, and um, so I, I went and asked the girl. I go, I go, yeah, I go, is that where I could buy one of these pumpkins? She goes, yeah. I go, okay, cool. So I found one that had like this awesome stem, right? It's a nice big one, and it's probably there right in the middle, I think. So anyway, so after I went and did all my walk around the sunflowers, which you'll see in a minute, and 
and the corn and the, 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 the pumpkin patch, I came and grabbed the pumpkin. So I grabbed it but by the stem, but I wanted to grab it a little, the stem a po- little closer to, to the pumpkin. The pumpkin was pretty big. So I kind of like threw it up and I caught the, the, the stem. But when I caught the stem, <laughs> so much weight with the pumpkin, the stem broke right off. So I'm like, nah, <laughs> so this slams on the ground. So I'm like, great, this girl's probably watching me thinking, you better not put that pumpkin back in the thing, right? And what are you gonna do? You're not gonna, you're not gonna put it back, you gotta buy it, right? So so I picked it up. And then I, I, could, I couldn't even hold it by the stem, I had to put it underneath my arm. So I got my camera on, on, on one side, I got this pumpkin on, 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 on my other other side. It's all dirty, it's dirty on my, my shirt. So I wasn't really enjoying that experience there, right? So, 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 so then I'm, I'm walking in to where I paid for. I didn't film in there, but I walk into where I paid for and, and I'm wearing like a Spider-Man shirt. So the girl behind the counter was like, I, 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 I like your shirt. I'm like, oh, thanks, right? All I can think about how dirty this, the, the, my shirt is, right? So she goes, she, she goes, she pulls up her, her sleeve and she has a tattoo of Spider-Man and Peter Parker. Kind of like a transition of it. I'm like, oh, I go, I go, well, but that, that explains why you, you, you like the shirt. So, but yeah, a little bit of entertainment there. Still, it didn't break the pumpkin, but I wanted that nice long stem, which didn't work out at the end of the day, but what are you gonna do? It gives you a story to tell at the, at the end of the day. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a pretty it's a pretty good walk at at, at, the, at the end of the day. Like um, I didn't do the corn maze, and I, I I didn't do the whole trail. But like if you did the corn maze and you did the whole trail and you walked the whole or- orchard, like if you hit like every area, like let's say like the apple part, the the, the sunflowers right here. There's actually raspberries you saw in the beginning of that there. Um, and then you walk towards the back, it's like the old corn, and then there's a pumpkin patch in the back there. Um, but, but yeah, like if you walk the whole thing, it, like it's not like a, 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 a small walk. If you, if you do the whole thing and you walk it, it may take you like, 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 like an hour to, to do the whole thing, right? So, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good experience from, the, from that, that point there, right? And if you want, to, if you want to go eat some corn and drink some apple cider, I don't know if they have coffee or tea or anything, but you know what I mean. Like you could be there, probably a good, easy, a good two hours, three hours. You know what I mean? Then you got your wagon rides. So I'd say you could probably do a good, easy three hours there if you if you do everything.
Yeah, so the reason why, well, one of the reasons why I, 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 I took the, the, the sunflower is obviously because it's a, it's a nice experience. But another reason is because I have, like, my spiritual YouTube channel. If you guys want to check that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this footage here. I'm going to take out the sound and I'm going to put, like, like a meditation music to it. So I think it's going to be kind of cool. Figure that way, like when you close your eyes, you meditate. Then when you open your eyes, you got that nice yellow, vibrant color you're looking at. So, depending, like if you're, if you're sitting away from, from your monitor, then yeah, you're not going to see it. But let's say you meditate in front of your, your monitor, then when you open your eyes, you're going you're gonna to see like that, that, that nice yellow color. So, that's one of the reasons why I, I did as well. Yeah, so I think last year, if you guys want to know for sure, just like check out the last year's video, but I'm pretty sure that was all sunflowers over there. I don't think they have pumpkins, so. And then where I shot the sunflowers, I don't believe that they were there either. So I think that they switched the, 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 the fields around just for the ground. So you don't take all the nutrients out of the ground. Like maybe certain plants will take so much nutrients, so they just change the the whatever they're growing around so that way it's healthier for for for, for, for the earth Yeah, so we're, we're, we're coming to, 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 to the end of, of the tour, the video here. Um, I, just to, I just want to thank everybody for watching this video. And you, you, you guys know the drill. Us YouTubers like it when you like the, 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 like the video. Subscribe, comment. May, 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 maybe suggest this my YouTube channel to, to other people. That, 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 that'd be nice. Um, and again, if you, or not again, but if you, if you go to my homepage, you guys, you guys can see a lot more, more, more videos with the different stuff, playlists, dance videos, um, and inter entertainment vi 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 videos as well. Um, one of my passions is that I'm, I'm a dancer as well, so I do like all kinds of dancing, ballet, uh, ballroom, and you know what I mean? Like, yeah, about the different stuff, like the different kinds of dancing. So, yeah. So, but anyways, again, th thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a pleasant day, and we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.